Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to continue with the database called Students. Just to recap, we have three tables. I'll just open them up. Courses. I've added a few extra people from the previous video, so you can see we've got some more scores now. Schools, a table of schools. Just a list of schools. And students, a list of students. And then what I did was I went to database tools and created the relationships. So one student can do many courses, one school can run many courses. So what I want to do in this video is have a look at creating a couple of forms or a few forms and see how the relationships will automatically generate a form for you with a subform attached. So let's just have a go at doing that one. So first of all, let's have a look at courses. So if I click on courses and create form, I'm not going to do it myself. I'm going to click on this one, so it'll drop it on the screen for you. So that's just a straightforward form that will look at this table, which is not really given as much information at all. You can just go through each person and see the individual stuff. But you can use that form to input data. If I click on the end one there, you can input data. I just need to go into form view just to get rid of these markers but that's a new record now I don't really want to keep that one because it doesn't really do much for me no I don't but when you go to students and do that the relationship will kick in so if I go create form so now I get a student let me just put that to form view I get all the students and what school and the scores on the doors for the subjects they got and if I just navigate through them you can see each student with their score. Now I do want to save this one. Now if I want to create a new student, I click on this. A new record that was, sorry, wrong one. This one at the bottom, new student. And then you can see this blank ready for me to fill a person, which will go into the student's table. I do want to save this. I'm just going to say yes. I'll call that FRM students so it's looking at the table students okay now if i do the same for school click on school and go create form it will show me the school each school let's just look at the form view each school and the students for that school so that's buttershaw in bradford leeds and you can just see i'm going through this and then you've just got a new record there for a new school if you had one so that's what the relationships are doing they are creating these relationships in these forms because uh, of the relationships that are set here now what I want to look at now is doing a few queries so we can interrogate this data I do want to save this form I'll call it FRM school FRM TBL school so those are the two forms that I'm saving and I can enter data there. Now to create a query, we're going up to create and then we, we've got two options, query wizard or query design. So if I go for query design and then you can add the tables that you want. So if I add um, school, courses and students, I get all three tables coming in and the links that are from database tools, the relationships are shown there. So one to many, one to many. So this is like a join table. Now, whatever you want to display, you need to bring down to this query by example grid, this thing at the bottom, where you've got field names, and you've got a table that they come from, the three tables, whether you want it sorted or not, whether you want it showing, when you run this query, you tick box, in there to show it no tick not show it and then the criteria or the all row is where you interrogate the data so i'm going to do a couple of queries just to show you how that works based on this data so what i want is school name and student name let's look at that one run so that gives me a list of the schools they're not sorted how I want them. I want this grouping actually, so let's group by school. And then if I just go back into design, 
to get grouping you need to put the totals on and then you've got group by and let's have a look what that does so it's put a book yeah it's doing it now they're all going together and you can see so what do I want let's have a look at the average scores per school so if I take student name off let's get rid of student name and run that so now I've just got the actual schools which are grouped and then if I add the courses it double click each of these courses now if I run that let's have a look that just expands it all again but I don't want it I want what I want is the average of for each for these subjects for each school so let's go back into design so where it says group by just want the average and then let's see what this looks like average for each one of these and then we'll have a different label as well so just average let's have a look so now we just get a single line of data uh, I need to sort this out because I don't want it showing decimal points but you, you see now I've just got each school and you can see the different average for each of these I'll just expand these for now what it's done also is change the label so average of maths average of English. you can tidy that up in design so if I just go back into design what I need to do is just click in front of each of these and give it a label like a little space there I'll do average maths get rid of the A maths with a colon and that will change that label to that so if I just show you that one so that's now saying av maths now I need to do basically I'm going to get rid of this of in between all of these so I'll just do that for each one so I've done each one let's have a quick look average all the way across so that's sorted that out so for each school I just want the average so I need to go back into this and make sure that is on average that last one's on group by and then run that and everything's average and I need to do the decimal places on this so we'll go back into design properties on this so you've got um, format and then you go into different options there so it's just going to be fixed and decimal places We've got the option there to drop that down zero let's have a look at that one for that first one so now that's fixed it and I need to do the same for all of these which I will do right now just go back into design so I've done that for each of these and when I run that I've got rid of the, the decimal places so you can now see by each school you see the average scores for these courses so that's a very simple query I'm going to save that one call that QRY for query averages in fact let's put school averages school averages and save that okay and then close that down so that's all I want to do on this little video so we've created two forms one for schools which gives you who's in each school and one for students which tells you the students and the school and the score that they got which is that one if I go through there you can see how that works and if I go through this one you can see how that one works I'll just close those two off so next time what I will look at is how to create some reports based on this information I'll put some more information in and some more queries we'll do some more queries and then base some reports on that so hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one